Are you great? If I get this, the Yankees won the World Series. <laughs> I used to be pretty good. It's harder than baseball. It's like if you get like a 125 average, that's Not great. That <laughs> is. No. You just said I was good at it. If I have a 125 average, I don't think I think 125 is very low. In college, you were you were good. You were 125. You were like out four out of ten. That's right. awesome. That you said that. I don't yeah. Realize. No, I think it, I was like it one, was one of your biggest hobbies. I've graduated from, I think how it works is you go shit beer, yeah. and then after college you go to really nice IPAs yeah, skip, and nice beer, skip the shit mm -hmm. beer so, and then so you go back to shit beer, and I'm back to shit beer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're back. Yeah, I was on a hard IPA yeah. kick for a while. Yeah. And now it's like, ugh. just give me the water. Yo, this bread, Katie likes this. It's called Dave's Killer Bread. It's made by criminals. What a weird name. They're actually killers doing it. You put me on bread duty? I don't yes. care. I don't care. You're a bread snob. No, I'm not. You're the biggest bread snob I've ever met. <laughs> I'm not. Cool food on someone. What they get sourdough, or you like sourdough? I you love, love sourdough. Look at how much his face just. That doesn't mean I. <laughs> that doesn't mean I dislike what regular bread. What was the bread. bread that I almost got somewhere one time? And you freaked out. You said it was an old, old lady bread. Oh, I, that's rye bread. That's a, that's a joke. <laughs> so you're a friend, not I, I'll eat rye bread, but I don't just. It is an old lady bread. That can't go on. Hey. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. Bill, we're going to be eating stadium food every day with okay. Kimmy and Krispy Kreme. Oh, <laughs> I mean, we can't get them, but I've never seen those. How crazy if they can just make candy and call syrup? <laughs> <laughs> That's marshmallow filled sugar. No, those are fillos. <laughs> this is the money stuff. This might be my dream sponsor. Ocean Breeze? Yeah. The suave, cheapest shampoo there is. It's been working. They just sponsored that. I always brag about how good my hair is. Good <laughs> <laughs> fish. I think you can. You're a better jumper. Ooh, limber up. Oh, dude, I'm not getting used to it. Come on. Dude, I was looking at these signs and I was like, oh, that's easy. I don't think either of us can touch that milk. So no way. Is that 10 feet? 10 to 15. Very close. <laughs> That's I was excited for you. I think you got it. I'm probably just gonna work. You need to hold this down. <laughs> That's fucking hard to do. Oh man, that looks bad. 
I didn't think it was, I didn't think we were gonna step back and I'd be like, God, oh, we can't notice it. Okay. Eggs, baseball, and dudes. Jimmy, we're working. Yeah, go for We're it. We're here with Jacob, aka Machado Kid. Last spring training, he made an epic rant about Manny Machado and how it wasn't worth the money. He was right. Is Cole worth the money? Mmm, $324 million. I think they, they might have overpaid him a little bit. But if he, bring, he gets us a World Series, is it worth it? Oh, two. yeah. How about two? Uh, I think we can get two out of it. Okay, I'll take that. All right, thank you, buddy. Traffic. Thank you. We're done with uh, the workout. It's hot out there, first day in the Florida sun. We're setting up, Higgy's coming to do a little chat with us. Kyle Higashioka, Yankees backup catcher. Jake was just in here in this very position, and now he looks dry and refreshed and ready to go. So it's my turn to relax a bit. And also, we can see when Higgy's coming. And then, we're gonna record talking baseball, then we're gonna go to Zydeco. I've been saying it wrong, it's not Zydeco. It's Zydeco, Zydeco Brewworks, to record a live show. So just a lot of recording. This is my five minutes of uh, AC and lay down time. It's nice. Stay on the name stuff for now. Okay. Because I was just one, one of my big journalistic questions. You've got one of the best Sterling calls I think <laughs> I've heard. Higashioka, the home run stroke. Up. I, uh, I I feel pretty lucky, actually. Well, yeah. Like even, you, you did your part today. Even, even getting nice. a hit off him doesn't feel like fun because you get that like. <laughs> I'm gonna get you next time. Yeah. Like it's great. That's yeah. a nice color. That's bring, that's a good shirt. You don't have to. Just bring out my eyes. Could. <laughs> hey, we get big enough that guests have to stay until we win. It's and like a four-hour show. <laughs> it's not, much it's not much better than the Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, what, what should, this will have a great ending. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's talking like if you if you wear something funny, if you wear something funky, whatever it is, like let it ride. You know. Right. It's so from, like this uh, right here. Let it ride, baby. You know where you embrace the crazy colors, embrace the swirls. I mean, you know, what? You know where Stan got it from? Where? Boy Meets Vegas. World. Boy Meets World. Yeah. There's an episode of Boy Meets World where Corey and Sean get really into horse gambling. And they bet on the wrong horse by accident, but then that horse wins, and they're like, "What do we do?" And they go, "Let her ride." <laughs> it's a really good. Game. And we are here at Zydeco Brewworks. We will be joined by Brian Hope and Mike Talkman. Let's do it. Let's 
talk Yanks. So uh, I did a new season of Peaky Blinders in the day. It's great. Yeah, and it was the first time that it was like a cliffhanger too. Like, usually it wraps up real nice. Very satisfying. It did not just run away from Kansas with Train to the Rockies? Was also, but is this year different feel, vibe, or is it more? Still early? Yeah, it's still early. Um, I haven't sensed any great difference from last year. Um, I, I think that's kind of the status quo. I mean, the biggest change, I guess, is you've got different coaches running the show now. Day one, whoa, <laughs> little earthquake action going on as the jacks come undone on the RV. Day one was a doozy. Jake, a little recap. We woke up super early. We went to the parking lot. We went to um, workout day at Yankee Stadium. We saw Garrett Cole throw BP, live BP, or whatever you call it. We went back. Uh, Higashioka, backup catcher for the Yankees, came, did a little interview with us. Hey. If they're watching the end of the vlog, they've seen a lot of this. Yeah. Uh, Stucco came. Live show at uh, Zydeco Brew Works. We uh, hung out with two Yankees today. That's cool. Two live Yankees. They were alive. Uh, Brian Hoke, one of the most popular Yankees beat writers. Also alive. We had an event where there's what? 80 people? All living. Did we get a number? Everyone it was, was today. <laughs> it was, there was a skeleton on the stairs. Did it was we get a less shot of that? than it was less than 80. No, wow, wow, that's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it was 80, uh, Roosevelt. Roosevelt's rolled hard all day. No, it was a good day one. They're insane. Uh, I kept telling the Roosevelt's guys who sponsored this whole trip, like this I'm was so only gross day one. Right now. Two MLB players. So uh, two yet, yeah, two uh, MOE report, whatever, you guys know. It's only day one. We have fucking ten more days. I'm disgusting. Well, you chose not to shower before the show when you already smelled. It's my brand. <laughs> he already <laughs> smelled. He said, I think I'm going to make it my thing tonight to be the smelly guy. <laughs> work. <laughs> that didn't work. And now we're heading back to the RV park to go watch some Netflix. RV life. Thanks, Pete Caldera. <laughs> <laughs>